Hi, I'm in this beautiful city called uh, Kiev in this uh, country called Ukraine. You can just say, I love Ukraine. The so people come here to enjoy this central place. It's so beautiful. But it's very nice to see this. Nice, cloudy, day to day, sunshine, laugh, sunshine. Very nice to see this place. Ukraine. You can see the tower, the top one. And I love Ukraine. Thank you very much. This is the Independence Square which had its international debut in 2004 as the scene of the Orange Revolution when the power of the people changed Ukrainian history and the future of the country. As the central square in the city, many festivals, concerts and parades take place in the area. The attraction contains six fountains, a waterfall and a large column representing Ukrainian independence. In the evening, it makes for a great people-watching spot and there is often a light show and music with the fountains on colourful display. Now we are in queue. This is the two brothers and sisters. They really came here and formed this wonderful place called Kiev. So they are the real founders and the discoverer of this place, the Kiev, the capital of Ukraine. Can you just show that place? So in the memory, they have made this memorial and then they kept this statue for them. It's really a nice place. Nice sunny day. Enjoy. Ukraine, I love you. These are the two doctors, uh, Kaur and then Saif I met in uh, this city and then wonderful people and then they helped me to see the, the city of Kiev. After the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991, a new country has born, got separated from Soviet Union, that is the Ukraine. And the, the capital has become the Kyiv. The Kyiv is the capital of Ukraine now. Most of these beautiful buildings are built during the Soviet Union period. And then the Kyiv is the most wealthiest and the largest city of Ukraine. Find a video, the mob comes from all the way from Kreshatik huh. to this area and here the cops stop them. What was the reason for that? The reason is unclear because there is not a lot of stuff about that online but uh, uh, they stopped them here and then the, they were here for around two weeks. Okay. And all these areas or cars were burned. My friends, I'm in uh, Kiev city. Most of you have seen in this uh, YouTube on the news. In 2001 there was a mob fury here. This is a place called Arena City. And then a lot of casualties were there, and the whole thing was rebuilt here. A very beautiful place. Came. It's called the Arena City. Thank you.
place called the, the best business center of this king. The, it can be compared like one street of America. See this beautiful, you can see it everywhere. And then this is place where more of people always there. It's a wonderful place. The king. Just show the 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 Uh, this is the next day. Uh, we have been to a place called Denipro. Uh, you can see the river, wonderful river Denipro. And then we happen to meet some of the Indian around this region. They are all uh, doctors. Uh, and then we went on a tour. Peshersk Lavra or the Kiv Monastery of the Caves it was founded by two monks of the caves, Saint Anthony and Saint Theodosius. Constructed over a series of caves excavated by the monks, it is remarkable to think they date to the 11th century. Ah, okay, okay, fine. Uh, now we are in the Lavarsky Monastery in uh, Kiev, and this is my friend Shurma. He is from India, and he uh, is a very big man. He is a community place, a beautiful business. Okay, let's see, it is a beautiful place. It is so peaceful, and we are enjoying, and it is really a nice day in Kiev. Thank you very much.
Okay, uh, we are in this uh, place called the uh, Ukraine Second World War uh, War Memorial Museum. These are all the things you just see is called missiles. missiles. And these are the things which is belongs to Russia. They have been taken over from Russia when Russians are separated. This is the thing the Ukraine the Ukrainians have included. All these things as a museum. We are at uh, Kiev War Memorial. Okay, just come here. Please. You can come here to have tanks. It's a wonderful place in this uh, uh, city of Kiev. The motherland statue located in Victoria Park commemorates the Soviet victory over Nazi Germany and is a focal point in Kyiv. This giant titanium statue is taller than the Statue of Liberty. The Baroque style of Ukraine is again at work in the series of additional buildings in the complex. This is a monument of Soviet liberators who fought with German invaders in Kyiv. This, this was opened in 1981. The Museum of the History of Ukraine in the Second World War is located on the banks of the Dnieper River. In a different place called the War Memorial in Ukraine. It's a very vast place. You can see this, the liberty of uh, Ukrainian when they got liberty from Russia in 1991. But if you just come in this region, you can see a lot of petrol tanks, uh, and as you can see, the all war memorials and all. So this place is very famous, and people from all over the world will come here and spend time to see this wonderful place. Around the complex, one can find everything related to the role that Ukraine played in the Second World War, commemorated in statues and relics like uniforms, letters and larger pieces of history like aeroplanes and artillery. Okay. 